you have to hit stuff with crankbaits. You got to hit the grass. You got to hit mud. You got to hit rocks. Okay. You start deflecting them, it's going to get legit. Like um, in late, in early spring, I fish one lake that has a lot of grass. Mm -hmm. And the pros will set up five or six fishing rods with different line. So you may be throwing a Rapala DT6. You're in 10 feet of water with four feet of grass. So you got six feet of water and the top of the grass is six feet deep. They'll have 10, 15, and 17 on reels. Same lure. Okay. On 10, it runs six feet. On 12, it runs five and a half feet. On six, you're burying in the grass. Mm -hmm. So they grab 12 and it goes right across and you feel it going on top of the grass. And then you can fish. But if it buries in the grass, you get grass and you're inefficient. Mm. Sometimes you got to throw 17 to bring the lure up. And for some reason, they want it really, they just want it right off the top of the grass. I've done it. It's the most ridiculous thing in the world to throw the same exact lure on a different mono. Same rods? Same, all same rods. I've got four of those crankbait rods. Mm-hmm. I've got, I'll, I'll, I usually do 10 and 14. And then I adjust my rod angle. So if I'm burying in the grass, I'll, the first thing I do is pick the rod up mm-hmm. and try to figure out how to just feel it. And you'll feel it go tit 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 tick in the top of the grass. Mm-hmm. And then they just come out of the grass and smoke it. And if you fish this far above the grass or six inches above the grass, they don't want it. It's not bouncing off the grass. It's not deflecting. It's not weird. It's just they're like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. That's boring. But <laughs> like when it's hit this grass, it's jump. Sometimes you'll hang up. And you pop it, and when, right when it comes out of the grass, they're like looking at it, and they go, yeah, and they just smash it. And if you have clean water, if you have rock, hit the rocks. If it's 10 feet deep, you need a DT-15, mm-hmm. you, and you're going to lose baits. Well, that's part of fishing. Right. You a, a glass rod on rock, and reeling moderately slow when you hit something, you, you learn to feel that, and you stop, and it'll float up, and then you can just keep going. Oh, 